In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your website on Infinity Free and we are going to bypass the limit of 10 MB's upload file size limit. So what we're going to do right now, the first thing we need to make sure that you have your application or website that you want to host. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my portfolio, my old portfolio. Actually, this is my first project that I uploaded on Infinity Free. And I'm going to use the same same project to, to demonstrate everything. So this is just a simple portfolio that uses uh, just displaying my projects and everything. Uh, just a simple website and all this data is stored in the database. So we are going to use inf infinity, infinity free database that they are providing to host our database and then the front end will be inside the file manager that they give you, that they give you. and they give you a limit of 5 GB storage yeah so the next thing you need to have you need to have the infinity free account yeah you need to have the account and this is the account that are created and if you just go to the account this is just same as the control panel the C panel account and then we have the domain name that we link to that account we are going to deploy this application this website uh, to be mapped on this domain name and if we go to the file manager or let's say if you go to the manage yeah if we go to this part for file manager and uh, we'll just see where the whole application is. We don't have any file inside this directory. And uh, let me just go to that application, to this website directory. Uh, I'll just go to the root directory where we have all the files for the do all the domains that we'll be adding. And that is this file manager, the main one. So here is where we have all the applications. So if you create a new, if you create a new uh, domain name, or if you add a new domain name, it will be added here. So outside, uh, apart from this HT docs, this is the main one that will be used by our domain name, the default one. And then if you add a new domain, it will be added here. So all the files for that uh, website will be stored inside that new domain, and it will have its own HT docs directory so we have everything here in place but if you try to access this link you can see we are getting an error yeah we do get an error since we don't have any file to be to be rendered so we just leave it alone and then the next thing you need to have you need to have a github account and i'm going to use my personal account here and you need to create a repository for that project and then we need to use GitHub Secrets. So just create a new repository. You just create a new repository for the GitHub for that uh, project. And then you go to this section. Before you even you do anything, just create the new repository and then go to this section for GitHub Secrets. So go to settings and then you go to the secrets and then you have the actions. This is the part that we need and then we need to add new repository secrets and in this project we are going to automate everything and we are going to use FTP FTP is a file, file transfer protocol that we are going to use to transfer the data and to, to just explain the whole process that is happening here is that uh, we are going to uh, upload our code to GitHub and then GitHub will be responsible for uh, deploying all that code to infinity free so for that connection we need to give github permission to interact with our infinity free account using ftp credentials so we need to have these credentials stored in github so that they can't be publicly accessible and what i'm going to do now we need to have these two credentials here i know now you're asking where do i get them if you go back to our infinity free account you can see you have the FTP details on the side, on the sidebar. And here we have the FTP username and we have the FTP password. 
So what you're going to do, you need to just copy this and uh, inside your GitHub Actions, just name one of these, add a new repository secret and then name it FTP password. Just name it the way it is here and then FTP username. So the password, you'll just copy it and then add a new repository. So if you add a new repository secret, you just add the name here. It will be, if it is a password, just name it as FTP password and then add the, the actual password here. And then after fi finishing that, you need to add, you just add it. Then you come to this section again, you add a new repository secret. So if you have just finished all that, what we need to do now is to make some adjustments in our code oh, okay let me just finish the whole setup uh, on infinity free and then we'll go into our code to make all the changes yeah uh, i've just said that uh, this application uh, uses a database so i need to create a database on infinity free that i'll connect to this application so what i'm going to do i'll just go to infinity freeze dashboard and below the ftp details we have my sql databases so i'll just add a new database for my project so adding a database we just go to the list of my database we have the create database and i'll just name it as portfolio uh, yeah and then just create the database well now the database is created and the next thing we need to do is to now transfer our local our database our local database we just duplicate it to use it in this uh, infinity freeze database so i'll just go to the php admin dashboard that is where i'll have the ability of uploading the database now we need to transfer our local database we just go to our local php admin and mine is running on port 85 I'm running it as a docker container so if I go here I have the port portfolio uh, Tanzania portfolio yeah this is the database that I'm, that I'm using so this is the whole database I'm supposed to transfer export it and then import it on the one that you've just created on infinity free so exporting a database just go up here where we have export then press export and here we'll have this uh, database downloaded to our downloads folder and this we can see it as it has this name and ends with three so i'll just go to our, our php admin that one that we created on uh, uh, infinity free and then go to import so we'll have to choose a file to import and then we just go to download and we just look for it in our downloads and here we have the Tanzami portfolio and then just select it and then just leave everything the way it is and then press go and we can see everything was successfully imported now the next thing we need to do is to get the actual database credentials for us to connect to this database, we need to use the right username, the MySQL username, the right MySQL password, and the right database name, also the MySQL host name. So in our case, we do have all the credentials by default. If we go to the, to the MySQL databases, we do have all the credentials that we need. We need now to go to our code and make the changes. I'll just go to my uh, application and it is inside the database configuration is inside the database.php now here i need to change these are the credentials for my local host but now i need to change them to use the infinity freeze database so the first thing you need to change the host name i'll just go to the credentials here and i'll find the host name and the host name is just this one just copy and then go back to your code and paste it here the next thing is database name db name and then uh, db name we are being told to use this one the one that we created this is the name of the database so just copy it uh, copy it and then go back to your code and change the one that is there and paste the new one 
and then we have the DB username. If I go back, we have the username here. I'll just copy it. Yeah, and then uh, replace with it. And then we have the DB password, and that one is this. And just copy it, and then I paste it here. And that's all we need to do for this part. Yeah. Now. Uh, the next thing we need to do, let me just close this, I show you the whole structure of the whole process. Now what you need to do is to create a directory. I'm sure when you have your project, you won't have uh, this whole structure here in place. So what you're going to do, you need to create a directory that is named .github. You just name it the way this one is called dot github and then create a subdirectory inside it and call it workflows inside the workflows you'll create a dot yaml file and that is infinity uh, you'll just name it the way you want in my case i'll just name it as infinity free dot yaml just make make sure the extension is dot yml so in that file i'll put this code uh, in the de description below so that you can just copy it and make the changes but actually you don't need to make any changes in this file except this name we just change it to your own domain name uh, and, and i'll just explain I, let me just explain a little about this what is happening in this code so if this code is pushed on the main branch then the action will be triggered on github and then we need to define the actual steps that are going to be carried out after this uh, action has been triggered so what we're going to do, we need to define, just, just leave this alone. Uh, what you're interested in, we are just going to specify, we want this to deploy. And uh, don't worry about anything here. The only things that you need to be more concerned about will be these, these uh, four lines. The server that you're using, and then the username, of the, the FTP username, uh, FTP password and server directory so uh, the server that we are going to use you, it is always defined on the FTP details let me just show you we have the FTP hostname that is the server that we are going to use and uh, if we go to our code we have the server I use FTP upload FTP upload the pet and uh, the username we use the github secret so make sure you add the secret on the uh, on your github secrets so this one will be just fetched from the github secrets the username and the password now if we get to this part for server directory if we are using the default uh, subdomain that you created for the account you don't have to change anything here you just use the main file manager it will just use this one but if it is a, another, you added a new, let me just get back here. i show you something. If you get back to this part, if you add a new domain, let's say this is the main one, it will just use the default directory. But if you add a new domain, it will be added here. Let's say it is dan.waze.com, uh, it will have a directory here called dan.waze.com. And then inside it, we'll have the htdocs directory. So we'll just have to change the path here it will be. Let me just demonstrate it. It will be done.waze.com. And then ht access. Yeah. So that is the only changes you need to make if you're using a subdomain that has been added in the main, uh, in the main account. So, in my case, I'm just using the main account as the default one, so I don't need to make any changes. Then, so after making all these changes here, now we are ready to deploy this application. So, in your case, if you, you haven't uploaded this, you haven't connected this uh, project with GitHub, we already created the GitHub account. Now you need to just copy the call that we've been given on GitHub for the initialization, connecting it. And then, when you push this code, uh, let me just show you. Uh, currently, 
I'll just show you an example. In our HT docs, we don't have anything. It's just plain. Uh, so uh, at this time, I'm just going to push. Let me just sync the changes. Well, did I make changes? Did I make the changes? Yeah, let me just make a single change for it to be detected. Yeah, let me just commit. So when I push this code, let me just sync the changes and then press OK. So when the push has completed, and uh, now let's just go to our GitHub account and see what is happening there. Let me just go to the actual project. You can see we have something is going on here something pending so if you go if you go to this part for action this section for, if you click actions uh, you can see there something has been triggered there's an action that is has been triggered so if we click it and uh, let's just go inside it and see what's happening and uh, you can see there's something going on here and you can see we are uploading something yeah it has created some directories and now it is uploading and if you go back to our our file manager in, inside infinity free you can if we just refresh you can see some files have been created yeah some files have been created and we j just need to wait for everything to be uploaded and then I'll show you the final product. If I continue displaying this page, my laptop will hang. So I'll just show you after it has finished. Well, it has taken a few minutes and it has finished uploading the whole, the whole website. Now, what we need to do to test this whole project is to go to the link that we, our application is running. It is Fortune Devs tutuazi.com so let's just open that link in a new tab and now uh, we are not getting the last the error that we got before that was saying uh, there's some files errors or whatever now we are getting a different error and you can see this issue is likely to an error code within the HD access file yeah so and you can see how we can resolve the whole error. Well, I did this before, so I just jump into the whole error. Uh, what happened, uh, our configuration inside the HT access file isn't right. So the easiest way you can deal with this is just comment out everything. So I'll just select all and then pre press and then press control forward slash and it will comment everything. And this time we are going to upload to just commit this code again but now it won't update the whole code it will just update this HT access file so just commit it <coughs> and this will take less than two minutes to finish the whole process so let's just sync and then let's wait for it well it has it has, fin it has finished committing let's go to our github and confirm the whole progress I'll confirm the whole progress. I'll just go to the actions and then we'll see an action running here for the HT access. So if we go, actually it has finished deploying the whole, updating the whole uh, changes and you can see everything is fine. Now if you try to refresh this page, you can see our website has been hosted on Infinity Free and we are using its database and its file manager and you can see everything is just as our local application that we saw earlier so this is how we deploy our web applications on infinity free which have larger files so thank you for watching and let me know in the comment section if this helped you so see you in the next one